Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube segment, I'm going to be talking about uh, someone some of you may have heard of, some not. It's a man by the name of Drazen Petrovic. Uh, he played uh, pro basketball from 1979 to 1993. He spent the majority of his career in Europe, but he joined the NBA in 1989 and played until 1993 before tragically uh, dying in a devastating automobile accident at the uh, very young age of 28 on June 7, 1993. Uh, Drazen Petrovic was a great player. He had numerous accolades and achievements, uh, including he was uh, Croatian uh, Sportsman of the Year for a 1985-86 season. He was voted uh, one of FIBA, which stands for International Basketball Federation, uh, greatest 50 greatest players in 1991. He made the All NBA third team in 1993. Was enshrined in the Basketball Hall of Fame in 2002. He scored 112 points, which I think is like unfathomable, on October 5, 1985. Uh, for BC Sabona Zagreb versus the KK Union Olympia team. He averaged nearly 38 points per game in four seasons with Sabona. Four in four NBA seasons. He averaged 15 over 15 points per game, shot 50.6% from the floor. He shot 43.7% from three-point land which essentially is like shooting nearly 66% from two-point range as far as point production goes. In the 1991-92 season, he was uh, second in three-point field goal percentage. Uh, he was ninth in three-point field goals made. In the 1992-93 NBA season, he was third in three-point field goal percentage. And in 91-92, he averaged 20.6 points per game for the New Jersey Nets. 1992-93, averaged 22.3 points per game. Now, there is so much more to Drazen Petrovic, I think, than just the numbers, though. He was a legendary player that transcended time. But something uh, about him, he just had such an unbridled uh, passion and exuberance and enthusiasm for the game. I mean, I did not see many players uh, that e exceeded or surpassed that uh, in my memory and in recollection. It's just a shame he had to go at such a young age. There's no telling what he would have accomplished if he had, whether he had stayed in the NBA or if he went back to Europe and, and played. But he really, and, and really, um, being only 28 years old, he play, He just did so much in that short time, though. Uh, there was uh, some a couple games that come to mind when I look at Drazen Petrovic, and it showed how emblematic this was of his play. There was a game, I believe 1993, this was against the San Antonio Spurs, I think he scored 34 points. There was about five, let's say around five seconds left in the game, maybe. He got a pass from out of bounds, and he just went uh, right at David Robinson and another defender, and he makes this miraculous shot. He winds up uh, sprawling, falling to the ground. He gets between Robinson and another defender, and he just scoops the ball up, and it just goes into the basket, and to me, Drazen, even though he was, I mean, 6'5", is still fairly tall, but at 195 to 200 pounds can be considered somewhat diminutive. But, you know, he, he was the kind of player, I think, who may have epitomized the statement that it's not the size of the tiger in a fight. It can, it's, it's very well the size of the fight in the tiger. And he played with basically a no-fear concept and didn't allow himself to be intimidated by anybody on the court. Nobody was imposing to him. I mean, he had some good battles against Michael Jordan and, and played very, I felt very well against him. Really, in, in a lot of people's mind, and unequivocally, maybe the greatest uh, basketball player of all time. And 
that's just how uh, Drazen Petrovic was. I mean, he seemed untiring. He played almost, uh, he, his energy seemed almost inexorable. He didn't really, he really, to me, did not show, at least show a lot of fatigue when he played on that basketball court. And for me, when I, when I look at him, there, there's another very outstanding memory in my mind from what I remember him playing and it still resonates today. He was 1992. It was the first round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs and it was against Cleveland game three and I believe the Nets were up by one at this point and Drazen took a came off a screen, set himself up for a three-point shot, got the pass and it went in and it was so much more than just the fact he, he made it in. I mean, the crowd was electrified, and Drazen may have won, had won uh, a lot of love from many fans prior to that shot, but I think maybe after that shot that basically sealed the deal for the Nets and won that game, I think he, he got a lot more love from uh, many other fans. And I think when I look at Drazen Petrovic, he was basically like, like a pioneer or trendsetter. He basically, I think he paved the way for other European players to come into the NBA. We see people like Tony Kukoc. We saw shortly after Drazen had left, I mean, we saw a, a strong surge of other European players. And really, Drazen is not, you know, maybe gone, but he left such an indelible impact and legacy on the NBA, it's just unbelievable. I look at him and to me, he was just somebody that basically went out there on virtually every play, put so much heart and soul and effort. He just wanted to win so badly. And I mean, I understand people have to make a living and there is such a thing as extrinsic motivation in the NBA, but when you look at him, Drazen Petrovic seemed very strongly impacted by um, intrinsic motivation, just the desire just to be to be great and be able to help his team and, and ability to win games. He just wanted to be to be a good player and be able to win uh, games. He was a great teammate. He was somebody that if he saw maybe a teammate in a problem with another player in a conflict, he would intervene and, and maybe you know run over and try to help him out. And so what I'm saying is, it, it's not just him about being a great uh, player. He was a great person as well. And I mean, I'll never forget him. He really left. Uh, I mean, like I stated before, his uh, impression that he left is just so everlasting and will never. I mean, for me will never uh, go away. Chuck Daly, who coached uh, Drazen when he played on the New Jersey Nets, had said something to the fact that he wished he could have gotten to know him a, a little bit better, that it was very sad to see him go. Michael Jordan, as we know, a legendary player, had, uh, had stated that he came, uh, that Drazen had come at him, I don't remember the exact words, but uh, apparently with a lot of aggression and, and energy every time he played him. And I think when Drazen would go up against a great player like Michael Jordan, it just gave him more incentive and impetus just to even play better and fuel his fire even more, not allowing himself to be intimidated, but allowing this to push him and increase his passion even more in that, in that particular game. Uh, the thing uh, I want to close with one thing is that you know, Michael Jordan was asked one time in an interview if he was the greatest basketball player ever, and he responded by saying yes. Now, look at Drazen Petrovic. He may not have been the greatest basketball player ever. He was one of the greatest, I think, because of what he did in Europe and in the NBA combined. But very, uh, Drazen was very reticent, humble, and he didn't have to say he was great. People that watched him simply knew that he was. Drazen, you may be missed, you're not forgotten. A lot of people, including myself, will remember you forever. Rest in peace. Well, people, 
This is Edwin Marwood, and until next time, stay well.